Good evening, I'm Myra Arthur. Here are your headlines around San Antonio. An off-duty prison guard arrested for impersonating a public servant. 31-year-old Justin Coates was taken into custody by a Bear County Sheriff's Office deputy late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Coates is a Three Rivers Federal Bureau prison guard but does not have the authority to conduct traffic stops. He told detectives he pulled over a woman driving alone on Cullum Park in far west Bear County because he believed she was intoxicated. Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar says one of his deputies saw Coates conduct the stop in an unmarked white crown Victoria. Understanding is he lives in the area of Three Rivers in Campbellton, and uh, so leads us to believe that he traveled quite a ways to, to do this. Uh, that in itself is somewhat disturbing. Sheriff Salazar says Coates faces up to 20 years in prison for the impersonating a public servant charge. The incident has investigators asking if he has done this before and if there are any other potential victims. A local lawmaker calling for an investigation into the brutal murder of a 15-year-old girl and her unborn child. It was a week ago today. Police responded to the murder of Jennifer Delgado. Police say 35-year-old Armando Garcia Ramirez was the father of the teen's unborn child. He was found in a wooded field off of the 1100 block of Babcock with a self-inflicted gunshot wound but survived. Delgado's body was found in an apartment nearby. Her one-year-old son was also there, not harmed. State Representative Ina Minjares says because Delgado was underage, pregnant, and already the mother of a one-year-old child, she has questions for the state's Family Protective Services. I have serious concerns that the system fails this young woman, and I'm, I'm requesting a, a, a thorough investigation to bring to light uh, what happened here. Um, if there were people that knew of, of knew what was going on and just failed to report, um, you know, it's just very, very disturbing what happened. For now, Garcia Ramirez faces charges of two counts of capital murder, one of those charges for a child under the age of 10. And that's all for now. We have all the latest headlines on KSAT.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for joining us.